I've got a quick introduction to Benita Moby's festive collection for you. There are seven gorgeous designs in the collection, all in Benita's signature style, and with a range of different themes and scenes within the different designs as well. And they're perfectly sized to fit on your 5x7 cards with a couple of mats and layers around the edges too. So the first design is called Snowy Christmas Time, and you've got a lovely sort of ground area with like a little lamp post, a tree and a house on there too, all with that gorgeous doodled kind of style, perfect for your colouring in. Then the next design is called Christmas Town, again which is packed with gorgeous doodled designs, again a lovely ground area, a gorgeous little snowman, there's also um, a lamp post in here as well, you've even got Santa flying across the top on this one too, and every time you look at these designs you notice even more details within them as well. The next design is called A Feast for All, where you've got two little birds tucking into um, a giant Christmas pudding, and I love that this one's wearing an apron as well, and you've also got like mistletoe, extra small little birds in there as well, and this one's even got a Santa's hat on too. And then the next design is called Cozy Christmas and it's a lovely interior kind of scene with the fireplace and the mantelpiece and I, I reckon you can cut all of these different bits and pieces out and use them individually on your project as well. But I also love that she's added in Santa's feet poking out of the chimney as well. Then the next three designs are more of like different themes rather than actually building um, a scene. But this one is called Vintage Baubles and this is a really lovely design for doing any of your paper piecing techniques or for adding some of your own doodles into as well perhaps. The next design is called Stocking Garland and these are fantastic for cutting out and using individually too or cutting out and raising up and creating some decoupage kind of images. And then finally the last design is called Nutcracker Trio and I love that all of them are different as well and again they're not actually touching anything so you can definitely cut these out and combine them with other images as well, maybe add them into one of the scenes too. All of Benita's stamps will come in packaging like this with a slightly smaller version of the design on the front but beautifully coloured in to give you that inspiration you might need for starting you off with your colouring and then you can flip packaging over and you can slide your stamp out of there and you've got the gorgeous rubber stamps as well and all of them are made with durable grey natural moulding rubber and have deeply etched details which allow crisp and intricate impressions every time you stamp with them and not only are they the beautiful grey rubber they're also pre-cut already and already on the cling mounting as well and when you get your stamp you'll have this backing piece on there which you can take off and then this cling will allow you to stick your stamp to any of your acrylic blocks or onto your stamping platforms or however you like to stamp with your image Images as well and when you want to clean your stamps afterwards um, a wipe works perfectly or you can run it under the tap um, and even use a little bit of soap if you need to and if you've been using any cosmic shimmer products like flake and glitter glue or um, experimenting with different um, mediums to stamp with you can just take an old toothbrush and gently get into all of those little details just to make sure nothing is stuck in any of the fine intricate areas. So for a simple card idea, I thought I would show you a way of adding colour without actually colouring. So for those of us who love our fussy cutting, this is a great way of adding some colour to these vintage baubles or any of the other designs in the collection as well. And I decided to bring in one of the paper boutique pads. This is the Festive Frolics one in, and it's like a whole coloured card collection with all of these different colours in there. So it's perfect for this kind of idea. And all you have to do is pick your colours, stamp the image on all of those different colours and then you have all of these different elements here with the design that you want to work with. So I thought I'd show you just with this little bauble here how simple it is just to cut out these designs and you can keep it really simple and just add the actual main sort of bauble design or if you want to go a little bit more advanced you can actually take different coloured ones and cut out more of the finer details and add those on top as well so you can just go and colour that in with a piece of paper like so and you can see actually in the background there are a few extra details that I thought were too fine to cut out so I've just coloured them in with an alcohol pen and you could also colour in some of these elements with your alcohol pens as well if you didn't want to do the really fine fussy cutting but I wanted to show you how you can actually take more colours of your papers that you stamped on and you can actually just snip other elements out of these 
to add colour to the image as well and don't forget if you've got multiple images stamped out and you're only using you know the different elements in certain colours for one of your cards you're going to have all of those bits left over that you can use on another card on another card and another card as well so that it's really great for your batch making of your Christmas cards too it might take a little bit more time doing the fussy cutting than the colouring but I know some people don't like doing a lot of colouring so it might be a nice different way of adding colour to your images and we can just add this final tiny little sliver just there and add a little bit of dark green into that design as well and you can see how easy it is to sort of build up different patterns so this is my finished card with all of that paper piecing on there as well and any areas you do find are too fine like the holly here um, you can just colour it in with your alcohol pens and on the yellow paper I've also added a slightly darker colour of alcohol pen as well just to add a little bit of extra detail and then because we'd coloured in the holly berries up here with that pinky kind of colour I decided to add dots of different tones of the pink in the background and then also to tie it in I used one of the brand new Christmas wordies and matted it onto a piece that I had coloured with the same alcohol marker pen as well. So that was your quick introduction to Benita Moby's festive collection of stamps plus a quick card showing how you can paper piece in these gorgeous vintage baubles and why not finish off your card with one of the brand new festive wordies too.